Hey guys, it's August here, and welcome back to Let's Play Bastion. In the last episode, the kid got high. I mean, what? Um, we went to the first who knows where, learned more about the kid's past and his family, and it was pretty depressing overall. But today, we'll be taking a break from the main story, and taking on the first six Proving Grounds. Now, I have explained this before, but I'll do it again because this is like the, you know, official video for it. The Proving Grounds are basically a place where you can test your weapon skills. There are various challenges to do, and you can get gold, silver, and bronze ranks. And each rank can give you fragments, new skills, stuff to upgrade your weapons. So they're very fun to do, very, you know, helpful to do. And this will be the video dedicated to the first six. Now, as I mentioned before, I'll be going for at least a bronze rank, and I'll be doing them in the order that we got them. So I will see you guys at the Sail Hammer. That's the scrapyard. Where folks got to smash things and call it community service. The city's unwanted things all met their end in the yard. So here we folks are. Folks have piled up to do their time here, smashing things to bits. And we have to destroy a hundred objects as quickly as we can. Now I should mention this too. I'm going to try and put on the screen what the requirements are for first, second, and third rank. And also, if you have trouble with these, it's really a good idea just to upgrade your weapon and come back later. You know, more damage, more ammo capacity. It really helps. Alright then, let's get started. The quicker they worked, the sooner they could go. Worked too slow and all you got was a sore back. Some folks invested their earnings to forge even better hammers. A good day smashing could feed a family for a week. Alright, second place, not bad. And 27 seconds or less is what you need for first rank. So we have something heavy for the hammer. Something wrong, which is for the, um... A certain weapon. Ooh, what could it be? Um, I actually forget. <laughs> Ever want to just smash things for a while? You know where to go. That's Trapper Shingle. Only place in the city to go to get certified with a repeater. No place better than Trapper Shingle for learning to tread light and shoot straight. Trappers had to tread real carefully, or else take a nasty fall. They train themselves by clearing out the targets, while not clearing out the floor. So in this one we have to run across this path, and shoot those blue balls here. And as we run across the path it will also fall down, so... It's pretty difficult, I have a lot of trouble with this one. But let us see how well I can go. Any good trapper knows never to take a step till the time is right. Most trappers couldn't get through without a few scrapes. Decent trapper wouldn't walk away empty-handed. All right, third, I'm not going to complain because I'm really bad at that. To think a rickety place like the shingle survived, when so little else did. That's the bullhead court. Folks defended themselves there with shields, not words. The accused always got a fair shake in Ceylonia. 
Some used to take the bullhead trial. So yes, deflect attacks without getting hit. And as you can see, for this one we get fragments, so yeah. Really cool. Now let's give it a shot. Survive the trial without taking a scratch. You'd walk away a free man. Smarter ones knew when to just step aside and let things go. Second prize, not bad. Hmm, look at all those fragments. Awesome. Well, a kid always wanted to compete in the bullhead trial. The breaker of barracks. Many straight shooters learn their way here. The breakers used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. Yep, Rock's pretty much covered it there. He's focused, he's armed, and he's off. I would recommend using power shots as much as you can here, it really helps. Uh, let's start over here, I think. The perfect shot just happens in a flash. Oh cool, one of the monuments too. That was a pretty bad shot there. Uh, I might be getting six here. Yep, okay, six. It puts on the right solid performance. Oh, that's second place. And do we get something stringy? Something fancy? An upgrade material for a certain weapon. The clockwork organizer once used for work and recreation. These springs and sprockets could be put to better use. He returns with some of the materials we need. That's Windbag Ranch. Perfect place to work a blade if you got the stomach for it. The ranch was always looking for good help. So in this one we have to destroy as many squirts as we can. 
Let's go. Slippery little devils. Cuts all of them down soon enough. Well, that could have gone better, I guess. Kid comes back from Windbag Ranch, smelling good and right. That's Zolwood Grove. A nice, quiet place to show a musket a good time. Ever felt a Zolwood gourd? Like picking up broken glass barehanded. At Zolwood Grove, marshals learn to make every shot count. So this one is also very easy, the just like the break is pop part. all those nasty gourds without wasting ammo. And this is where the spread comes in handy. Like that. Most marshals didn't get far on the first few tries. Had to catch a bunch of those gourds in a single shot. Funny thing about muskets is they work best up close. It took a keen eye, not an itchy trigger finger. And second prize. Oh, look at that! One. Alright, something calls. And something foul. An upgrade material for a certain weapon. A rag smothered in cauldron ash. Highly volatile. This rank smelling fuel lasts long and burns clean. Marshals did more than just stand around shooting, of course. Alright guys, and that is the last proving ground for this episode. Let's have a look at the memorial. We have the Breakers. The Breakers. Ain't no one could outrun them. Or their arrows. And the Gravers. The Gravers. The arm of justice. They seemed unstoppable. Oh, we have so many fragments to use. Alright, first of all, more damage or more critical hit damage? Uh, I still think more damage is better. A sail hammer's only as strong as its spine. That's a strong spine. Let's also upgrade the uh, war machete. Attacks cripple, attacks deal damage over time. Or alloy tip, 20% critical hit chance. I already have keen edge. So let's go with Scumbag Tip. Points just don't get any sharper than that. 
And it'll also upgrade the uh, scrap musket. More damage. All shots cause greater knockback. That would have been helpful in that thing. I should have got that. Uh, let's go for more damage. The marshals learn to pack those shells full of fire. And I think I will save the rest of them right now. Alright, and next time, we shall use the, uh... Let's go with the scrap musket and the war machete. And I'll keep the hand grenade, because that's been really helpful. Anything survives a musket shot ought to be quick work for that blade. Alright guys, thank you all for watching today. And next time, we shall continue our adventure. I'll see you then.